What's poppin' people? Welcome back to another video. And today is not fishing we're talking about. I have the biggest unboxing I've done on this channel. The first unboxing in this category I've done on this channel. And it's a doozy. We got a lot of stuff and we got a lot of expensive stuff. This one, this unboxing is $500 plus worth of hunting stuff for this upcoming season. I am stoked. I can't wait to use it. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Every single thing that I've got is already opened. I've been messing around with it, trying to learn how to use it. And I'm going to show you guys exactly how I plan to use it this fall later on in the video. But without further ado, let's dive right on into what I bought. All right, guys, one more thing I forgot to mention is that I did kind of cheap out on some of this stuff because we are looking at probably a $1,000 or so if I did not take the low road and try and spend as the least amount of money as I could. But you can't expect a Cadillac at Honda prices. So I'm excited to see how this stuff holds up and see if it really is worth that price slash or if you're getting the same value for some of those higher end products. But the first item I bought was a hunting saddle. This one right here is the Hawk Helium Hammock hunting saddle right here. That's the box. I got this thing over here. This is sweet. I've gone up a couple times in it. Comes with a bag and a lineman's rope, some carabiners and a tether. If you don't know anything about saddle hunting, I suggest you look it up because this is going to be my main hunting method for this year because I'm on public land. It's easy to get up and it's very maneuverable and you can swing all the way around the tree. So it's super cool. I wanted to check it out. So I got myself the hunting saddle by Hawk Helium or Hawk Helium hunting saddle. All right, I got two more items for this segment here. I forgot to mention the price of the hunting saddle. That saddle is like a $350, I think I want to say. Either $350 or $250 saddle on Hawk's website, but I found it for $180 on Amazon. And I saw a thing yesterday where it's $160 on MidwayUSA.com. So... If you want to get into saddle hunting, I definitely think that is the way to go. So I got it for 180. Next thing I got sticking with the Hawk Helium trend is the Hawk Helium climbing sticks. These are 30 inch sticks. I got these in a three pack, but I'm not going to drag all three up here. If three steps, three sets of steps on the sticks. 10 inches apart, go all the way up. I haven't really measured up how far I can get with these. I don't know, I forget what the things are called where you hang them from the bottom here and they drop down. That could probably get me up another three feet at least. I guess I could probably get up, these are 30 inch sticks, probably 15 feet or so, which, for some guys, that's a lot. For others, it's perfect. And for other people, they like to go up to 20 feet, which it's all personal preference. I just have to see what works for me. That is the Hawk Helium Climbing Sticks. The three-pack sells for 100 bucks on Amazon, which is also one of the more cheaper climbing sticks bundles out there. And our third item we got here is something you need to have for saddle hunting, which is a saddle platform. This is the tethered predator platform. I did a whole bunch of re whole bunch of research on this because this is a pretty pretty hefty investment. This is $170, almost as much as my saddle. And the reason I didn't go cheap on this is because this is where I'm standing when I'm in the tree. I don't want to go cheap on this and be super uncomfortable all the time. So I went ahead, spent the money and got myself a piece of equipment that a lot of people like. This was $170 and I got up in this earlier and it was unbelievably comfortable. 
compared to hunting on just sticks or a tiny little platform. So I absolutely love this already and I can't wait to use it when hunting season rolls around. All right, this one was a doozy to get upstairs, but uh, this was my uh, final item I bought here. This is a hang-on tree stand, and you're probably asking, oh, and why do you have a hang-on tree stand when you just bought a tree saddle? That's a great question. This is the big game hang-on tree stand. I don't know the fancy terms for it. Big game hang-on tree stand here. Bought this, ordered it from Dick's. It was like 80 bucks, 70 bucks. Not too bad for a hang-on. Came with a harness, lineman rope, tether, all that good stuff. So you can be safe in the trees. But as to why I have a hang-on tree stand, I am in the state of Ohio. You have to hunt with a, you have to be accompanied by an adult until you are 16 while you're hunting. So while I might know more than the adult going with me, they might know nothing about hunting. They just have to be there. So I bought that hang on for whoever's gonna go with me when I sit in the trees and hope Bambi walks by so I can smoke her with an arrow. So that's for them. It's also pretty sweet because next year when I do get to hunt by myself, I have that choice of tree saddle or hang on, depending on what I'm feeling like, conditions, etc., etc. So 70 bucks for a hang on is not too bad in my opinion. It's pretty comfortable. I sat in it for about 30 seconds earlier. So, yeah, that's nothing like a hunt. So, we'll actually see how comfortable it is here in about October. So, I don't know. That's all the stuff I bought. Let's fast forward to tomorrow through two baseball games, hopefully, two wins. And I'll show you guys my set up for all this or what my plan is and quick note before we do a lot of this is probably going to change before september 25th all right fast forward all right and two baseball games later two dubs later we're out in the backyard showing you guys how this stuff works so first one i got out here is the uh saddle down here, I got my platform strapped onto the tree. This is a fairly small tree. I would never hunt out of a tree this small, but this is in my backyard, and I'm using it just to show you guys. But what we got in here, we got my harness on, and we have the tether up here. Now, I'm doing this at the bottom of the tree. Just imagine that there are sticks below it. I climbed all the way up using my lineman's rope, etc. We're actually gonna go back in the woods. I'll show you guys I'm actually gonna, actually gonna climb up a tree in this. And we'll talk about this a little bit more up there, but this is fairly simple. Step onto your platform and just hook it on up to, your, to the carabiner. Strap that thing down and then boom. You are leaning off the tree and I can swing around. Can move around i can move around a little bit more in the tree i don't want to ding up my backyard tree too bad because my dad would kill me but this is the tree saddle fairly simple i like this a lot it's very comfy i can sit up here probably all day and you can tighten some straps loosen some straps see where you want the weight to go it's a good deal come on down just stand up straight Unhook yourself, and boom. All right, my bad. I just realized all this is pretty much a shadow for that last clip, but you guys could probably see me good enough. But the uh, second thing we have here is the tree stand, which is just essentially a seat in the sky. I don't know how well you guys can see that, but you just sit on it. You got your platform here. 
stand on the platform, sit down. So, works just like that, pretty easy. I don't know if I'll put this one up in the tree today, but we're gonna go put the saddle up. And this video would be nothing without a cicada. Let's go put the saddle in the tree. All right, very painful 25 minutes later because I had to find a decent tree away from people so I don't get the cops called. I had to bushwhack through a bunch of crap. And then on top of that, there's a thorn bush I had to go through right at the base of the tree. But we are up here. I'm in my saddle set up here. I got the platform going. I got my backpack up on my hooks there. I got the back strap here. This is pretty nice. This gives me back support. I can tighten it for more support, loosen it. I can even put it under my legs for like a seat. This is pretty sweet. I'm going to flip the camera around to show you guys the view. I know I'm a shadow right now. So this is what I'm seeing. I've got the backpack looks straight down. I've got my feet hanging off the side of this. Still kind of sketchy, but you know what? I gotta get used to it one way or another. This is all around me. Look over there. See it come from down there. Walk right below me. There's the thorn bush. Got my sticks going up there. The camera, trail camera and feeder. I don't know if you guys can see it. The PVC pipe, that's right down there. We got everything going up here. We are officially up in the trees. This is pretty cool. Whoa, all right. Oh, there's some light. All right, well, I feel like there's not a better, or not a more fitting place to do this outro than in the stuff that I just bought. So we're gonna do it in a tree. So. I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing. It was really expensive. It made me happy, but hurt my wallet. I'm really excited to use all this stuff this year. I think it's super cool. I'm excited to experiment with it, figure it out. Hopefully I don't fall, break my neck, that'd suck. But uh, yeah, if you enjoyed, smash the thumbs up button, drop a sub below. Follow me on Instagram, at OKBass, and I actually dropped a teaser for this video on my Instagram. So they were the first people to know about some of the things in this unboxing. So you definitely wanna go follow me on Instagram, at OKBaston, like I said. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll catch you guys on the next one. See ya.